such a boring play. I know. Guys, let's just keep watching. Well, Truman, it's time for me to start my new life and go to a spiffy new school. I will make my father proud as I study philosophy. I have left my house and my family, and I'm ready to become a swell man. I'm so glad that you brought me along with you. I'm excited to go on this adventure, and I hope that you enjoy your studies. Thanks, man. I will. Look at all those people over there. Oh, I'm super great for you. Wow. I think I'm going to like it here. Dry up. You can't sway me on this. I will not let my younger daughter marry until my older daughter has. I can't handle her. She's too much for me. Are you, about you, Henry? are you trying to humiliate me and make me look like a dumb Dora? Don't worry. You are not who we are, who we are after. Both improve your temper. I don't care. The only interest I have in you is to smash your face in. You're... Oh, I'll make a fool out of you. You to keep me safe from her. I, me too. Wow, this is going to be nifty. That tomato is either swell or sap. But look at that Jane. She's so quiet and well behaved, just like a tomato should be. Shh, be quiet. Yes, sir. Let's touch it. Bernard, are you really so mean? Why are you making Brandy so unhappy? Yeah, why does she have to be punished for the other Ben's mouth? Guys, I've made my decision. Brandy, go inside. But I know she wants to play music and likes poetry, so I need to get some tutors for her. If you max no teachers, then tell me. I will not spare a penny. Kate, can you stay? You can stay if you want, but I'm going to chat with Brandy. Stay? I would rather breathe. Please do, get out of here. Nobody wants you. My love is for Brandy. I can wait. For now, I will find a tutor for my love. Me too. Wait, Greg. I know we aren't necessarily friends, but we do have one thing in common. That is that we are ever rivals for Brandy's love. And what is that? Marry, sir, to get a husband for her sister. A husband? No, a devil. I said husband. I say devil. What Mac would marry her, even if for all her money? Some guys would take it for the money. I don't know. I'd rather be whipped in public, even if there is a big bucket of money along with it. That's true, but since we are now friends, let's find a husband for Katie, and then we can go back to fighting for Brandy's love. May the best man win. Am I right, Greg? Yes, of course. Let's go find this imaginary suitor and get him on a horse to Padua as soon as possible. Goodbye, Verona! I'm off to visit Henry! I think that's his house! Moron, pound the damn door! Pound the door, I'll pound your head! Why are you standing there? Get on with it! Hello, what's the trouble? This worthless, worthless man! I told him to knock on the door, but he wouldn't do it! Good God, man! First you tell me to punch it, now you're telling me to knock? Guys, Graham, stop either stop leave or shut stop up! Stop shut your trap! Oh, what brings you here? Well, my father is dead. I've set off to marry wealthy and make a good life for myself. I know where you can find a rich woman, but she's quite a piece of work, all right. Can you handle it? Of course I can handle it. Money is all I look for in a wife. But she's terrible, a witch, really. You don't know what money can buy. What is her father's name? It's Bernard Manola, and her name is Katie Manola. I don't know her, but I know her father. Well, Pete, I should go with you because I am in love with Brandy, and she cannot be married until her sister Katie is married. Gentlemen, I will not go back on what I said, so Brandy, go inside and remember whatever happens, I still love you. That spoiled brat! She could get anything if she wanted to! Okay, sister, I know it makes me happy to see you upset. Hey, 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 hey! Father, I'll just take comfort in my education, music, and instruments. Listen, it's an age impossible to fall in love in first sight. I didn't think it could be true. I love this girl so much, I would do anything for her. She looks like a goddess. If you love her, then you have to do something about it. Let's do it. You were blinded by her beauty. I can't help it. Just look at her doll face. Were you so blinded that you didn't notice her balled up sister? I was too busy staring at those red lips. Oh no. Well, if you didn't notice, her father is waiting for her sister to marry before he'll give her up her young, his younger daughter. Oh no! Well, he wouldn't stop her tutors. Sounds like you have a plan. Yep. So do I. How about you go to... 
how about you be her tutor and I will go to your school as you. Okay, so you can be Master Louie in my place at school. And in return, be on Dello. <laughs> yes, you found me. Where have you been? Me? Where have you been? What's going on? Why is Truman wearing your clothes? We have traded clothes, and Truman is to take my place while I tutor that doll-faced Brandy. But, what? <sighs> treat Truman as you would treat me so no one becomes suspicious. How come he gets to be you? I'm just as qualified. Because I said so. Now, let's go. You must introduce me to Brandy. Beloved of me, and that my deeds shall prove. Pete has agreed to marry Katie in exchange for her daddy's money. I will turn this dame into a debutante. Tush, tush. This girl and I will walk down the middle aisle. Baptista's other daughter has a thousand men, while Kate has none. Did you see them all yet, Pete? I'm afraid I haven't, but I will wed to her soon, so I can set the younger one free. What are we waiting for? Let's take Pete to meet his wife. The end.